What's going on YouTube, Facebook, subscribers, viewers of this video? Bill Mack here with another edition of Pro Wrestling Unleashed. I'm here with you for the, uh, for thank you for joining me for this video and watching this video. This is for Impact Wrestling. This is for June the 22nd, 2017 episode of Impact Wrestling where they're still in Mumbai. I guess is how you would say it. Mumbai, India, um, where they, you know, did some, did some shows um, over the you know some tapings over the last few weeks. Um, we got a good show for you. Um, hope you enjoy this video. Um, had a lot going on here. This is going on the road to uh, to winding down till we get to Slammiversary 15, which of course is July the second at eight o'clock, which is only on pay per view. And I will have my predictions for that after, probably after next week's show, just to make sure there's no more. Uh, no more matches added to the card. Pretty much it's already up to seven matches so far. So we look to see exactly if there's going to be any more. I, I'm kind of thinking there will be maybe one or two after we see tonight's, uh, after we talk a little bit about tonight's episode. So let's just jump right into it. Um, first up, we see the Sony Six-Way uh, X Division Trophy. Now this has uh, six guys in it. And and it's an elimination match basically, and last man standing wins and gets the uh, Sony Six Way X Division um, trophy. So we see the six competitors are Trevor Lee, the Lone Wolf, Davy Richards, Suicide's in this one, Eddie Edwards is in this one, and Matt Seidel. So that's well five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. I thought it was six, but uh, must have missed somebody. Um, but anyway, get right into it. Um, this was pretty good so far. We had all men basically going at it to, to start our match off, basically. Uh, you know, they kind of went one after the other. We've seen Eddie Edwards uh, going over and taking on Davey Richards. We've seen uh, Trevor Lee and them going against over on Suicide, uh, against Suicide and then against Matt Seidel. This is a good matchup. A lot of different things, a lot of spots in this matchup. We see one side spot where Suicide is standing uh, opposite his, with his back facing the competitors on the outside, and he does his suicide pose and falls back and lands, knocking every uh, all the competitors down. That was pretty good. We see Trevor, and uh, so we we start rolling, winding down. We see Trevor Lee ends up getting a roll up, and he grabs the tights. Oh yeah, Braxton Sutter. That was who it was. I didn't I didn't have Braxton Sutter's name there, but Braxton Sutter um, gets rolled up. Braxton Sutter is eliminated. Uh, then we basically see that Suicide now is taking on both Trevor Lee and Davey Richards. He ends up doing a, a double kick to both of them, knocking them back. For a while, he was kind of handling both guys by himself. But of course, you know, numbers basically take over, and we see Trevor Lee end up hitting the double stomp on to Suicide from the top rope. One, two, three. Now Suicide is being, so that's two that, that Trevor Lee has basically eliminated. So then we see uh, Davey Richards um, as he grabs a chair, and we see Eddie Edwards going for a dive, a suicide dive through the ropes. Davey Richards ends up hitting him with the chair, which is not, which is this is not a no DQ. So by that happening, he gets disqualified. So then we see Eddie Eddie Edwards facing Davey on the outside. Eddie Edwards takes the chair, sits it down, and he takes Davey Richards, and he does like a. Um, like a little like a perfect plex onto the chair. By that doing that, that ends up disqualifying Eddie Edwards. So both of those men are disqualified. So that leaves Trevor Lee and it leaves Matt Seidel in there. Now I'm I'm a big Matt Seidel fan. He's really good, uh, really athletic, got a good positive attitude. Well, these two are going back back and forth for a while. Matt Seidel ends up hitting a, a shooting star press off the top rope. One, two, three on the Trevor Lee. Matt Seidel ends up getting We see Bruce Pritchard, Scott Demore, and the, the Sony Pictures India president, I couldn't pronounce his name, uh, go in and present uh, Matt Seidel with the trophy. So pretty good matchup to start off the show, the X Division matchup. We see the comeback and we see the segment with Rockstar Spud. He has the selfie. He's doing selfies and talking with a cell phone on a selfie stick. And he's walking through the streets of Mumbai and... We see basically he sees Swoggle in in a in a place. He calls out Swoggle. Swoggle comes out and he's facing him, 
and St Spud gives the uh, an Indian lady the uh, to hold the selfie stick, and it's funny because then she takes off with it. So then Swaggle's like, "Come on, bring it at me!" Swaggle's confronting Spud, and then we see another little guy come in, a little Indian guy come uh, come in, and he breaks them up. So we, I guess which will lead to next week's episode, a Mumbai street fight between Rockstar Spud and Swaggle. So this remains, and to me, I think this will be a matchup that's going to be added to Slammiversary too. That's why I'm going to wait until next, after next week's show and, and give you my uh, prediction video. Um, so then we see Allie in the back. Allie is kind of wondering because they've made mention, Sienna did at the beginning of the show, that Rosemary wasn't spotted coming in. Nobody saw her. She hasn't came to the building yet. So her and the hot mess Laura Vaness basically were going to try to, you know, they were they were like going to take advantage of that situation. So Allie's wondering why Rosemary, she's talking to herself and she's trying to calm herself down and know it's going to be all right and everything's going to work out and all, and then we go off. So then we see a t maybe three or four vignettes talking about Lashley and El Patron's matchup, reunifying the titles. We see them. Uh, then we see another a couple of vignettes talking with James Storm and talking about the Hall of Fame and how important it, that it is with Impact Wrestling and what it takes to get there and those that are in it. And then we we go from there. And then we cut back from commercial. We see a vignette where JB at Joseph Park after last week is just not so. He's so he's really skeptical. He's worried because uh, he's going to have to face Scott Steiner. He and JB and uh, face Scott Steiner and Josh Matthews. And JB kind of gives him some inspiration not to give up, not to not to back down. That they can do it. He tries to pump Joseph Park up, inspire him enough to kind of get him to not think like that. So that was what aired next. So then we see basically Sienna and Laura Vanessa taking on Allie and Rosemary. Now, Allie comes out. Now, Rosemary's nowhere to be found. So we see Sienna and Laura Vanessa coming up from the ring up to the ramp, and they start figuring, well, now's the time we're going to get her. But then Rosemary, out of nowhere, is underneath the ring. She comes out, clothesline. So then all four women are fighting. And then we see basically, uh, we see the finish come when Allie gets distracted because... Uh, we see KM come out there, and this allows uh, Rosemary to get double teamed by, uh, by and then well, Braxton Sutter comes out, takes care of KM, but Allie's down. So we see the double team by Laura Vanessa and Sienna, and basically Sienna hits her move, and then Laura Vanessa hits like a curb stomp on the Rosemary. One, two, three, your winners, Sienna and Laura Vanessa, get the win in this uh, tag team knockouts matchup. Come back from a commercial, you see Sanjay Dutton, he's dressed up in Indian apparel, and he, he's surrounded by a lot of his, uh, a lot of his friends and a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, the, of the Indian people. And they're cheering because last week he won the X Division title, and he's making his way to the ring. So we, then we cut to LAX, and LAX are kind of doing like this, Kind of like the Broken gimmick did. Remember when they were doing the expedition for gold and they were going to these different promotions? Well, LAX are kind of the opposite. They're like, okay, we've got the world titles. We're going to basically go to these different promotions around and we're going to beat down their teams and we're going to do, uh, we're going to take their payroll, which was kind of funny. So then they show a couple of clips where LAX go into these two different promotions. They beat up the, the wrestlers take their belts, pose in the ring, and then they're in the back. You see them trying to ask where the money's at. So I thought that was a pretty funny thing that LAX is doing, trying to establish themselves as a rough tag team. So I thought that was pretty good. So we come back from break. Sanjay Duck comes to the ring, and he's basically thanking the people, and he's talking about how far he's had to persevere to get to where he's at. We end up seeing basically Loki come in, and Loki acts all you know friendly with him and says, hey, once you give me a match, I can uh, give me a um, rematch. I gave you a match, and then Loki says, "Let's make it two out of three. And then Loki, when he shakes his hand, turns on him, hits the hits the Warriors way onto Shira, who's in the ring, and then Matt Sidell comes out and makes the save. Loki backs out, and then comes back. So hold tight, and we'll be right back, and we'll continue on with 
the rest of the uh, episode. So we see next up we have KM taking on Shira, and since Shira got the Warriors' way on put on uh, happened to him by Loki in the previous you know previous segment, he's coming out with his ribs taped up. We see Shira, and there's two doctors, a, a male and female doctor, and they're trying. You can see, basically, tell that they're trying, tell him, hey, you're not ready. He's trying to plead with him, let me go, let me go, let me go. They're going back and forth all the way down the ramp as Shira's trying to make it to the make it down the ramp to get into the ring. KM comes in, basically, and and throws Shira into the chair, into the steps as they come down. We see, basically, Shira, uh, you know, KM throughout this match works on the ribs of Shira, as we can tell. Shira's really badly wounded. He tried a couple of moves. We seen a with a back, you know, a, a, a like a kind of like a Samoan uh, backdrop, but then he couldn't really hold it because his back, his ribs were hurting. He held, kept on his ribs. But we did see the ending of this match come with Shira ended up hitting the sky high on KM and picking up the win. And now just when you see the gods have, uh, Shira has overcome the odds, out comes the monster Congo Kong. And we see basically both guys just double team and work on the ribs of Shira. And we see Congo Kong come out basically and hit a frog splash. And I mean, Shira, like he was a little bit over halfway uh, in the ring, Congo Kong just dives from one side and hits a I mean a monster spot uh frog splash onto Shira and you can tell that he ain't getting up from that new way and a, a big dude that size he is not getting off uh, getting up no time soon with that so it just remains interesting to see what happens to Shira uh after this after having to take the ribs taped up having this mon monster Congo Kong frog splashing from across the ring so it'll be interesting to see that so then we show we you remember earlier on we were talking about JB inspiring Joseph Park. Well then we start seeing this vin, uh, vignette of those two training, they're lifting weights and doing everything and they're jumping in the swim in the swimming pool and they're showing their solidarity and they're training together. It was kind of a funny little segment with both guys doing that. Well then uh, we see end up seeing Eli Drake come into the ring, he and Chris Adonis, and he talks about Moose and how, you know, Moose hasn't <coughs> had anybody in the back that would be his partner. Why don't he just come out and just tell both of them it'll have to be a two-on-one because nobody in the back will be his partner, which prompts Moose to come out. And trust me, folks, the crowd was really well in this match and over basically the, the stars of the show. I actually have thought the fan reaction has been really good over and come off on TV were good. And regardless of what circumstances are, it still came off good on TV. But Moose, we see, comes out and he says, you know what, you're right. I couldn't find anybody in the back that would be my partner. So Eli's like, you're going to tell us it's going to be a two-on-one? He said, no. He said, my partner is going to be none other than uh, – NFL running back D'Angelo Williams, and remember, he's in. He's friends. Moose played the NFL football. He's got friends with, uh, as we remember, a few episodes ago when D'Angelo was in Moose's corner at one point with Gary Barnage uh, when when they were when they were in Moose's corner, and so we see a clip of different news outlets showing D'Angelo Williams getting ready and training to to be a tag team partner of Moose's. So then when they cut back from the event, the, the clip showing Eli Drake and Chris Adonis are both double teaming Moose, and we see him let, left in the ring, and they drape the grand championship belt across Moose as they leave. So we look to see this tag team. This will be one of the many matchups that was made for Slammiversary. So we come down to our main event. This is Cowboy James Storm and Alberto El Patron, the Global Force Wrestling Champion, taking on E. Singh 3 and, and, and the Impact Wrestling Heavyweight Champion Lashley. Now this was funny because E. C. 3 had he had a an Indian version of his song and they called him E. Singh 3. That was on the back of his 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 his, his screen, you know, his his um uh, I don't know what you call it. I don't want to call it Titantron. His entrance. 
and it had E sing three, and I thought that was so funny. And you have people singing it, but it's an it's an Indian. You could tell it's got an Indian inspired, and I thought that was pretty cool because they claimed EC three was in touch with his Indian uh, fans. So I thought that was pretty cool that he did that. But this match was quite a while. Um, we see Storm and Lashley kind of started off, but Storm at the first part of the match gets pretty worked over by EC3 and Lashley. You see them tagging in and out. They cut off the ring in half to keep Storm from tagging in and Alberto El Patron. Finally, we see at one point where basically Lashley comes in after Alberto El Patron. He gets the upper hand and he, do, he, he pushes El Patron off the ropes. This allows them to heels double team Alberto El Patron. Then see at one point EC3 is going to get e Alberto El Patron on the rope. El Patron hits the cross arm bar on the ring while he's got EC3, which is a pretty cool spot to me. We see Storm get tagged in. Storm ends up cleaning the house and he ends up picking up the strap, which just allows Lashley to, to, to knock basically knock Storm uh, down. The strap goes down. Storm ends up getting double teamed. There's at one point he makes the tag. Ref can't see it. EC3 and, and Lashley end up taking Storm, double teaming him while EC3 is on the outside. Referee doesn't see it. Then we see Lashley hit a spinning power bomb on the Storm. Then EC3, we see he goes and instead of tagging Lashley, he slaps Lashley. And we see Lashley get mad and staring at him and getting in his face. And EC3 gets in. Then we see one point a uh, Alberto Patron ends up hitting a backstabber on Lashley after he gets the tag. Then we see all four guys where we see Alberto we see um, Alberto Patron and and Storm going to they both had EC three on the top rope and they're going to suplex him back. But then Lashley runs underneath both of those, so he slams them down and all four guys go forward except uh, Lashley ends up standing up since he's standing up and the other three guys go down which was a pretty cool spot i actually like that move it always is always cool when they all get together and participate in one move so this ends up happening and then we see the cross arm bar that hurt alberto El patron puts on lashley it's broken up ec3 gets the strap and then he starts hitting the referee which automatically disqualifies ec3 and and uh, and ec3 and uh Lashley, then we see that EC3 and Storm are fighting. Storm grabs the strap. He chases EC3 up to the ramp. We see Lashley and Alberto El Patron fighting, throw, and, and Alberto El Patron is throwing him into chairs. Lashley ends up running up, up going back up the ramp to get, out, get away from Alberto El Patron. Patron sees that both titles are there, picks them both up, goes through the ring, uh, goes through the crowd, and poses holding up both ring, uh, of both belts as we see at Slammiversary. It'll be a unification match. There will only be one champion after it. Alberto El Patron this week stands and celebrates in the crowd. So I thought it was a good, I thought it was a good episode. It carried along with the storyline leading to Slammiversary. We'll see now. Like I said, next week we'll see what happens. We already know Spud versus. Swaggle in a street in Mumbai street fight. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like, subscribe to my channel, share the video if you want to. If you have comments, drop comments, and I'll look at them for sure. And then I'll try to pump out as videos as I can, folks. So I hope you've all enjoyed my video. And until next time, this is Bill Bill Mack here with Pro Wrestling Unleashed saying, take it easy.